When we last left off, we were discussing how immunity is so complex, tough, and smart, but it needs to be to face the challenges of a tough and complex world. We will continue to explore what it's doing in its two-layer protection. We can identify some patterns that we continue to see in your immune system and observe that these are the hallmarks of what goes right and what can go wrong in your health and well-being. And we will see immunity is more than just defense. It's all your immunity. Human immunity involves two levels of protection called innate and adaptive immunity. In each level of protection, your immune system demonstrates patterns that we will continuously observe in a well-functioning system. Namely, there is a constant surveillance between tissue and cells of the immune system. There is also a network of communication between tissues and cells and between cells and other cells called signaling. Then there is the ability of your immune system to distinguish between you and those things which can harm you called mechanism. In innate immunity, your cells are recognizing patterns that differ between you and pathogens. While in your adaptive immunity, those cells recognize specific sequences called antigens that differ between you and what is trying to harm you. We will continue to explore more patterns found in well-functioning immunity and some of what happens when all is not functioning properly. But when your immunity is doing its job well, it has recognition. It knows who is a friend or a foe, what is self or what is non-self. Think of it like this. We can recognize ourselves and do no harm to what is ours. We can also recognize what is not a part of us and assess its dangers to us, then act accordingly. <coughs> that is how your immune system acts. It surveils the cellular landscape, and when it comes to a cell that presents a portion of pathogen known as antigen to that immune cell, the immune cell can recognize it as a dangerous non-cell and remove it. When recognition goes off the rails, the immune system starts attacking non-dangerous self. Then people experience an autoimmune disorder like lupus and rheumatoid arthritis. Your immune system has regulation. It's disciplined in that it knows that when it turns itself on, it has to turn itself off. After an infection is cleared, the cells of the immune system self-destruct to stop the immune system from continuing to bombard healthy tissue. When regulation goes off the rails, the immune system never turns off and starts attacking healthy tissue. The constant immune bombardment of this healthy tissue over time causes degradation of this tissue and the loss of proper body function. And if all that weren't enough, Immunity has a memory. 
while it is fighting an initial pathogen attack, your immunity is also creating a blueprint or a database of sorts and stores it so that the next time the pathogen reinfects you as you are re-encountering that pathogen, your immunity knows just what to do. Be good. The next time it encounters this pathogen, it coordinates a bigger, quicker response to destroy the pathogen. Scientists exploit this principle of memory when developing vaccines. The idea is to expose your immune system under controlled conditions to an inactivated or killed microbe or even to a portion of the dangerous microbe. Your immune system can recognize it and begin to mount a defense that it remembers when you encounter that pathogen again in an everyday setting or let's say an uncontrolled exposure. Think more broadly and more boldly about immunity. Your immunity is not just about defense. It's more complex than that. Remember, we live in a complex world. Your immunity helps maintain balance and proper functioning in tissues and organs in every stage of their life cycles. An important function involves your immune cells acting as the catalyst for taking away cellular matter no longer needed by tissues in a process that doesn't damage nearby tissues. It also initiates repairs to tissue and organ wounds after infection and injury. One of the coolest functions of immunity occurs when we are still in our mother's wounds. It's her immunity that protects us. In those first few weeks after we are born, our moms actually pass on their immunity to us until we can evolve our own. In that way, immunity is literally life-giving. So you can define immunity as narrowly as a textbook does, or you can think of it as a host of tissues, cells, and proteins coordinated at every moment of your life to sustain you and help you thrive in health and balance in a very complex world. It uses the distinct tools of surveillance, signaling, recognition, regulation, memory, defense, and repair, which are its hallmarks to proper function. It is your lifelong, life-giving, life-sustaining system. Immunity is light.